Hello YouTube, what is up? Another knife review for you tonight. Uh, tonight, as you can see by what's in front of me here, the Cold Steel Gravori Paradox. And I don't know if I'm saying Gravori right or not. And I also noticed on Cold Steel's website that they switched to calling it Griv X. So maybe I wasn't the only one that was having a hard time with its pronunciation. Anyway, if you look at it, it looks like a butterfly knife looks a lot like a butterfly knife. However, it's not a butterfly knife. That's why it's called the Paradox. It looks like one, and when it's open it looks like one, but it does not open like one, if I said that right. Now, to give you an example or an understanding of why it's not a butterfly knife, uh, in the 90s, many um, states in the United States outlawed butterfly knives. Uh, it seems kind of silly. Um, it was one of those, if it looks dangerous, well, it must be dangerous. Or if it looks intimidating, it must be intimidating. Kind of like the whole AR-15 assault rifle bullcrap that's been happening. Well, it's got a lug nut for, uh, you know, this. It's got a retractable uh, butt stock. It's got, ooh, it's black. That's bad. That's going to make it kill more people. Whatever. Same sort of thing here with knives. I didn't realize people had such a uh, issue with knives, but apparently they do. Um, anyway, in the 90s, a lot of uh, a lot of states um, outlawed them. The United States Customs outlawed the importation of them altogether. Uh, I guess it was an interpretation of the Switchblade Act or something. Um, anyway, possession of a butterfly knife in uh, California and many other states is, is a felony, which is just unbelievable. Anyway, Cold Steel digs the look and they wanted to go ahead and make one but they wanted to do it in a legal fashion um, now this one is very large um, just to give you an idea how big that is there's my hand that's that's pretty big I've got medium medium to small size hands uh, to give you some of the dimensions on it it's uh, the blade on it which I'm going to show you in a second here uh, anyway let me start with the overall length overall length on it is nine and three quarter inches uh, weighs 5.8 ounces in this form the paradox also comes in a uh, 6061 aluminum uh, the sizes on that one are let's see I think they have a five and a half inch blade which is an inch bigger so it's that's pretty big uh, that one weighs 7.6 ounces and the smaller one weighs 6.1 ounces it's uh, 6061 aircraft aluminum the blade steel is OS 8 which uh, is almost exclusively what uh, Cold Steel uses, uh, as far as I can tell. Anyway, we'll open it up for you. It is essentially a slip joint. There it is. And that is a big blade. Show you up close here. Come on, focus, baby. There we go. Paradox. You can see it on the on the blade there, and it's heavy. That's that. Uh, I guess it'd be like micarta. I'm not sure. It's some sort of ejected, ejected molded type thing. This one has a pocket clip, which is pretty cool. Um, I don't know. It, it's not a real EDC knife. I mean, look at that blade. That is just huge. And that's the smaller of the two blades. Uh, as you can see, the little mechanism there the slip joint right there working now when it's in it is locked in there's no going there's no uh, it's not gonna collapse on you or anything because just like a butterfly knife when you're holding the handle like that it is it's locked in um, it's not the speed of deployment on this thing is is non-existent because you have to be really really careful just to give you yeah I mean look at that if your finger was in there when you close that and this is almost a novelty really but it's not, and I'll, show, I'll tell you why in a second here. It could actually double as, if you smoke cigars, it could double as a cigar trimmer. Because if you put your cigar in there... Ooh. Yeah, that would probably work. Anyway, your speed of deployment is, is non-existent. You're not going to pull this out in a hurry and defend yourself with the blade. However, as a pommel, you could pull this out of your pocket and defend yourself without really worrying about killing somebody. I mean, if you hit them too hard, you could, I guess. 
but to defend yourself. You could either use it as a reinforcement, defense only, reinforcement in your hand, or as a pommel, because that, that would not feel good, almost a six ounce knife coming down on your head. There's the pocket, clears a better view of the pocket clip for you, and that's stainless steel. It's got the little cold steel emblem on there. Now that would ride pretty high in your pocket, and it would look pretty intimidating. So you might, it might be nice if the pocket clip was up here, that way it would tuck into your pocket a little bit better, but whatever. I guess they did some study as to why it should be there. Uh, fit and finish on it's pretty good, um, because it doesn't line up. If you can see this, let's see if I can get my flashlight out. There is a bit of a lip right there, but um, other than that, it's you know it's really really nice. The, the blade steel on it, like I said, is Aus 8. Super super sharp out of the box, and you know uh, Cold Steel makes a big deal about that on their website. They they have warnings all over, and they even have warnings on the box. Caution. Let's see if we can see that. Caution, extremely sharp knife. Handle with care at all in bold times. Talks about uh, Cold Steel's warranty. Anyway, a couple of, a couple other things there. Um, like I said, I don't know that this would make an easy, a good EDC knife just because it's so honking big, almost 10 inches. But you could use it as a non-lethal defensive tool. That would be my guess. I don't know. What do you think? Value on it, uh, it that's always in the eye of the beholder, but uh, value on it is, they're about 60, I think MSRP on them is about 60 bucks, 69 bucks, I guess, on, uh, um, if you were to buy it online, which means it's going to be probably about 50 bucks if you buy it from uh, Blade HQ or uh, the Cutlery Shop or some of these other online stores. Now, the, um, the aluminum one, uh, that, or the 6060, yeah, 6061 aluminum handled one, it's polished, it's really, really nice looking, and that one's going to be quite a bit more expensive, the five and a half inch blade is 154 MSRP, and the, uh, four and a half inch blade Paradox is 139, so, you know, that's up to you, um, I think I got this one online for about 50 bucks, right around there, so, yeah, that was good. Anyway, I've never carried it. I like it. It's just part of my collection. It's a high high value in that regard. Uh, I have a low price, high value um, collection going, so that that's where that falls into mine. Anyway, I'll give you another look at it before I let you go here. That's it there. That is the Cold Steel Grivex Paradox. Cold Steel. They make some pretty cool knives. Peace.